For the past centuries, African countries have had common challenges that extend beyond their national borders that necessitate the inter-African cooperation in order to achieve their national developmental objectives. Egypt and modern-day Tanzania have had historical relations for more than 50 years of mutual cooperation for peace and development. Both countries seek to develop infrastructure, strengthen trade exchange thus increasing economic volume. It is in this light that the, the Egyptian joint venture, Arab Contractors Company and El Swedi Electric were awarded the task of executing the project. Years from now, everyone will be looking up to such iconic mega-projects that demonstrate a new era of African national cooperation. Tanzania is endowed with natural resources. The management and stewardship of such resources are the main focus of the government with a goal to impact the quality and sustainability of life for the current and future generations and set Tanzania to be one of the largest economies in Africa. With its 2025 vision, the government of Tanzania is prioritizing industrialization as a pathway for sustainable economic development. Power generation is essential for modern life. The Tanzanian government is planning to exponentially increase the current national grid capacity by raising the largest power supply station in the nation's history, a dream that started in the 1960s. Hello there, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we share with you important events occurring on the African continent. Do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so as to remain updated on recent developments in Africa and the world. It started in 2019, 220 kilometers southwest of the commercial capital, Dar es Salaam, on the banks of the Rufiji River, in the Selagame Reserve, one of the world's largest heritage sites. When completed, the dam will be fourth largest in Africa, the ninth largest in the world, and the largest power station in East Africa, according to Wikipedia. The dam is an ambitious energy project, one of the largest in East Africa and one of its kind across East Africa, with the capacity to generate 2,115 megawatts, costing $3 billion. It is currently the most significant contract handled by Egyptian companies in Africa. Construction works for this mega project kickstarted in 2019, which spanned out Tanzania's government's ambition to enrich its energy capacity from all fronts. In August this year, it was reported by the Tanzanian Minister of Energy, January Makamba, that construction of the dam had reached 67.18%. According to Tanzania Invest, the average electricity consumption per capita in Tanzania stands at 108 kilowatt hours per year, compared to Sub-Saharan Africa's average consumption of 150 kilowatt hours per year and 2,500 kilowatt hour average world consumption per year. The demand for electricity in Tanzania is estimated to grow by 10 to 15 percent per year, as access to electricity for rural people stood at 69.6 percent in 2021. The government of Tanzania aims to expand access to electricity to nearly all Tanzanians. To meet this demand, the government plans to increase Tanzania's generation capacity to 10,000 megawatts in 2025. It is in line with this vision that the government of Tanzania embarked on the construction of the Julius Nyerere hydropower station. Although controversial, the government approved the plans in 2018. The power station is expected to have an installed capacity of 2,115 megawatts and to produce 5, 920 GWh of power annually. The project, power station and dam are owned by, and will be managed by, the government-owned, Tanzania Electric Supply Company, Tanesco. The project consists of, main dam for storage of water to generate hydropower using RCC concrete, with total length of 1025M at crest level and 130M at dam level, construction of four saddled dams for reservoir impounding of water with length of 1.4km, 7.9km, 4.6km and 2.6km with a maximum height 21.3M, 14M, 12.4M and 5.5M respectively, with a capacity to impound approximately 33 billion meters cube of water construction of a hydropower plant with a capacity of 2,115 megawatts and a substation of 400 kilovolts, in addition to 400 kilovolts transmission lines to the nearest point of the public network. 
The civil works includes the following, permanent access roads connecting the site with the existing roads network in length about 21 kilometers, temporary access roads that connect all permanent facilities with length of 59 kilometers, a permanent bridge, 250m in length, 50m high and 12m wide to carry equipment parts up to 250 tons. Main dam of RCC on Rufiji River power plant with administration building, control building, workshops and stores, connecting power station 400 kV including transmission lines for variable height and length dams for water impounding of reservoir diversion tunnel 660M length and two coffer dams, integrated residential complex on an area of 19,000 m2 including housing and playground, permanent furnished offices, in addition to temporary residential complex, utilities, lighting, Drinking water and water treatment. Main electromechanical works for powerhouse, power plant of 2,150 megawatts, nine vertical Francis turbines, each turbine having a capacity of 235 megawatts, nine butterfly valves for entrance, nine vertical access generators, water and sewage cooling systems, ventilation, air conditioning, firefighting and communication systems, protection, control and monitoring equipment, three diesel generators for the power plant, dam and spillway. The project was stated to be completed by 2022, but has faced some delays in its execution due to a number of reasons. The Julius Nyerere Hydroelectric Dam is a great example of the inter-African cooperation that is necessary to tackle some of the continent's most pressing issues. The construction of this dam will increase access to electricity for many Tanzanians, and will also provide a great deal of employment and training opportunities for local people, as well as boost economic growth in the region. It's an example of how we can work together as a continent to improve life for all Africans. We hope to see more of this kind of cooperation in the future, both within Africa and among African countries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so we can keep in touch. Also hit the like button if you found the video interesting. I'm so excited to share my love of travel with you to help you discover more about Africa, and I can't wait to show you more, so why not check out this playlist for more amazing videos about current mega projects on the African continent. Thanks for watching.